Welcome to a new vlog. If you're new here, my name is Kim. I'm a third year fifth grade teacher in West Michigan. And today is Monday, it is January 4. I am back in my classroom, as you can see, it's right before seven right now, it's like 6.50. And I actually did fine waking up today and stuff, but I know I'm gonna feel it like halfway through the day. I didn't sleep very well last night. I just kept thinking of all of the things that are going on and that I need to do. And not just school stuff, just like, I don't know, everything. Like I just kept making a mental to-do list to the point where I finally just got out my phone and made an actual to-do list because I'm like I have so much on my brain today we're gonna go over some procedures and stuff and just kind of get back into the groove of things I'm going to do new classroom jobs I switched my classroom jobs halfway through the year so we've had one student do each job some of the jobs have multiple students like if it's like a crew of people but most of my classroom jobs just have one person and it resets at winter break typically I do my like interviews or hire process right before winter break and then they start the jobs when we come back however I had a handful of students missing right before break started who were quarantined and so I wanted to give them the chance to hopefully get a job as well now I don't know that I'm gonna have all my students today but I am hopeful we'll see so anyways I am hiring for new jobs today and then you know just getting back into teaching content as well today so I am already exhausted thinking about it but hopefully it ends up being a good day I feel like I haven't vlogged in forever, but I actually did vlog a handful of times during the break And I just never really did anything with the footage, which is like typical Kim move So anyways hoping fingers crossed that this vlog goes well throughout the week and then I can check in quite a bit and all that fun stuff So anyways, I am going to rearrange the desk and then I will see you guys when I see you So now it is Tuesday it is January 6 no January 5 I looked at the time and then forgot like immediately but it is January 5th and it's actually after school now I had the laziest morning this morning you guys I could not get myself out of bed like I got up and got ready and then I went back to my bed and didn't want to get back up and so anyways I was so tired this morning I think yesterday just like totally wiped me out so I didn't vlog yesterday after school. I laid on the couch. I watched Bachelor. I lesson planned. I edited a video and that's what I did. That's pretty much it. I slept. So anyways, I was so tired this morning. Barely got myself out of bed. I mean, I was still here with like plenty of time to get myself ready and stuff, but definitely not as much time as I usually have in the morning before school. So I felt very rushed this morning and didn't vlog. And then during lunch and recess, I ended up having a bunch of kids like popping in and popping out and doing all the things. And so, anywho, this is my only time to talk to you guys today after school. Uh, today went really well. We actually are doing a dinosaur story right now. So actually I'm gonna walk with you guys. This week, our text is a biography about a man who created dinosaur models or models of dinosaurs. And I got this hat from the Dollar Tree at the beginning of the school year or maybe over the summer and thought to myself, I don't know when I'm gonna wear this, but I'm gonna wear it and here we are. So I wore my dinosaur hat around like basically all morning. It has like a little strap, but it was cutting off circulation because it's probably meant for a child. So I taught basically all morning in my dinosaur hat. The kids thought it was pretty hilarious. I thought it was pretty hilarious. It was a good time and it's like really light. So it was very comfortable. So we had a ton of fun and I love like little moments like this where I can just take something silly to make stuff more fun. So this was super exciting. And then I found out that Cuckoo Kangaroo is apparently not on Go Noodle anymore or maybe some of their stuff is, but not everything. So I wanted to do the Dino Stomp, but it wasn't on Go Noodle anymore. So I did find it on YouTube. So we did the Dino Stomp. I will say most of my kids were not into it. They were kind of looking at me like I was crazy because. It it was first thing in the morning they were not interested I always talk to my kids about how we have a cool card 
and your cool card is what tells you that you're too cool to do stuff. So I always say you need to take your cool card off of like your heart or your forehead or your front pocket and you need to move it down to the bottom of your shoe right here, bottom of your shoe. So that way if you feel like picking your nose, you can pick up that cool card and say, nope, I don't wanna pick my nose in public. But other than that, you leave that cool card on your shoe, you stomp on it throughout the day, and you have a good time because if you don't have your cool card with you most of the time, your life is gonna be a whole lot more fun. I say, guys, does Mrs. Halls even have a cool card? And some of them are like, no, no, she doesn't even have one, not at all. So anyways, that's like a cool little metaphor that I don't remember where I learned that, but <laughs> I've used it every year of teaching and I love it. So I always teach the kids about their cool card and how they need to put it on the bottom of their shoe. So for some of my kids though, their cool cards were definitely on their forehead today, but it's okay, I let them get away with it. I had a select few who had a ton of fun doing the dino stomp with me and all that fun stuff. So anywho, it was a fun day. It was a fun day, it was a busy day, but it was a fun day. We also did a little anchor chart today and I don't wanna get too close because I did have the kids write on it, but we did little like 2020 resolution or 2021, thankfully not 2020 anymore. We did little 2021 resolutions as a class. So I'll get a little bit closer so you can kind of see what it says. So we made this little anchor chart today. I did this last year as well, inspired by Head Over Heels for Teaching, I believe it's her Instagram handle. And it's just 2021 little balloons. And then we want more and less of different things in our classroom for the rest of the school year. The kids did a really great job with it. And then I had them go and sign their names if they can commit to trying to make more or less of those things in our classroom. So I don't wanna get too close to it because I don't want to have like the kids handwriting where you can actually like identify it, but they did a great job. I will read some of the things to you. So let me like move the camera so I can read it without you like seeing it, you know? Okay, the lighting's not good. I have my dino hat on. We're just gonna roll with it. So on the more side, some of the things that the kids wrote down are raising hands, deer time, music, optional homework, read aloud time, being silly, participating, kindness, time to brainstorm, more genres of music. Um, one of the kids wrote down that we need to get Mrs. Hall's more fun hats, maybe inspired by today. So more fun hats, that's a good one. More goal setting, more opportunities to talk to your partner, more on task talking with partner, more manners. And then on the left side, one of the kids, the very first thing that they wrote down was less cool card, which is a good one. I can't really see you guys with this hat. What if I leave it like that? There we go. So on the left side, they wrote down less cool card, less body checks or reminders. When I go like this, this is a B in sign language and this just means you need to check your body. In my classroom, if we go like this, that means they need to like check in their behavior. Less negativity, less talking over someone's voice, less scraps on the ground, less heads down, less blurting out, less yucking someone's yum, less quarreling. That was one of our vocabulary words a few weeks ago. We talked about how it's a synonym for like fighting and arguing, so less quarreling, <laughs> that's a good one. Less off-task noise, less sadness, less letting your partner do all the work, and less rudeness. So I thought those were some really good ones that they came up with. They always do a really good job with these types of tasks, but they just sign their names all around, and we'll leave that up as a reminder of what they want more of in 2021. So I love goal setting with the kids. I think it's great. And now I'm gonna move you guys again because <laughs> the lighting. Okay, ooh, much better. So now I am eager to get out of here as much as I love my kids and love my job. Boy, am I ever happy when I get to go home and be cozy and change into pajamas. So <laughs> I am gonna go home. I'm wearing this super cute dress today though that actually was very comfortable. This is from Target. This is my first day of school outfit actually. Um, so I wore this with like a cardigan and leggings and boots today. So that was the outfit. I feel like my voice sounds weird today but I think it's just because I've been using it so much yesterday and today and I maybe like wasn't used to it. So I feel like my voice is getting like kind of scratchy just from talking all day with mask on so anyways time to go home I'm gonna take off my dino hat so I don't alarm anybody walking out of school wouldn't want them to think there's a dinosaur on the loose and then I'm gonna go home I'm gonna read a book I'm really excited and it's gonna be great so anyways we've got this Hello 
Hello, sweet friends. So now it is Wednesday, January 6th, and I'm here in my classroom. It's actually already almost 8 a.m. because I decided to just work on stuff from home this morning, work on slash just kind of cuddle with the cat for a little bit of extra time under my heated blanket this morning. I am so tired this morning, but I'm hoping, I'm crossing my fingers, that I will wake up once the kids get here because I'm the type of person that like when I'm around other people, I get very energized. But here by myself this morning, I am so tired. So I didn't even want to get out my tripod. So you're just balancing on a student's desk right now. <laughs> So anyways, nothing too crazy going on today. I do need to finish a couple of things for our math lesson this afternoon. We started a new math unit. So anyways, I just need to go over those notes, but I can do that today during my planning or during lunch and recess or basically whenever. So not too worried about that, but I am very, very tired. I might even put my head down on my desk for a couple minutes, take a little snooze. I don't know. The first week back from break is killer. Oh, also, I did bring a coffee maker into my classroom so I could make a cup of coffee. Chris and I got a new coffee maker for the house, so I brought in our Keurig to my classroom, and that's been super nice. So maybe I'll make a cup of coffee this morning. Okay, you're probably at a funny angle, but that's okay. So it is after school now, as I'm sure you can tell, and I'm sitting in the Barnes & Noble parking lot because I'm actually meeting up with my best friend, Melissa, made for second grade, at Barnes & Noble, and then they have a little Starbucks in here, so we'll probably take Starbucks to go and then sit and drink our Starbucks and maybe talk about books, maybe talk about life. I don't know, I'm pretty excited about it though. Hey there, sweet friends. So now it is Sunday morning and I thought I would get ready and talk to you guys at the same time. So I haven't done this in a really, really long time, but I will try my best to kind of walk you through like what I'm putting on my face while we also just chit chat. So I might just like show you what I'm doing as I do it. So anyways, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the rest of the week because I realized I hadn't popped on here since I think Wednesday was the last time when I was meeting up with Melissa at Barnes & Noble, so that was super fun. It's a little weird because Melissa and I went from seeing each other every single day to now only seeing each other like maybe once a week, but we do try to find time at least once a week to see each other, so that was nice. And then on Wednesday night, um, I actually don't get any service at school, and so I don't even bother checking my phone when I'm at school because it like I literally can't connect to anything and so anyways when I was with Melissa she was like hey have you seen the news and I was like no I haven't had my phone on me or I haven't checked my phone like what's going on and she told me about the riots that were going on in the Capitol and so that was the first time I had heard so then on Wednesday night um, I just put this on my face by the way this is a little just spray from rare beauty um, so on Wednesday night I basically scrapped all of my plans for Thursday and I decided to take time on Thursday to listen to my students concerns to talk to them about what a peaceful protest is and what that looks like and then have the kids decide was what happened on Wednesday a peaceful protest or what was it and so I took a lot of advice from some amazing teachers on Instagram so I cannot recommend LaTanya Smarty Style enough she is amazing if you don't follow her already you definitely need to right now I'm in between colors by the way so I'm using two different ones and just kind of blending them together the best I can for these foundations but anyways LaTanya is amazing I have followed her since I was in college and I just learned so 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 much from her so I kind of just followed her lead she shared some amazing links to one video about like what is protesting and why is it important like why do people protest and it was a super short video I think it was like maybe two minutes long and then also she shared with her students a video of the trailer of the John Lewis film which is called Good Trouble I think it's John Lewis Good Trouble and it just talks about like what is good trouble so I used those ideas from LaTanya I used those video links and then my students just had a really good conversation where I asked the questions but then I just kind of 
stepped back and let them answer and didn't interject with my own opinions so that way it was very student-led and we also watch cnn 10 in the morning usually we watch it in the afternoon but i thought it would give my kids like a good base point so that way if they hadn't seen the news they at least had like some sort of idea of what was going on and so anyways overall it was a really good day i felt like the conversations were very productive i felt very hopeful based on my students responses i have a very compassionate group of students this year and so i just am always impressed with them and like the things they come up with and so i think it was really important that we took that time and if you haven't taken time to talk to your students about the events that happened this past week it's not too late i definitely think it's worth taking the time to talk about because i think when you just ignore something huge like that like a huge current event then it makes it hard for kids to have a space to talk about their thoughts and their feelings about what's going on and some of the concerns that my students had were things that like i had never considered before so anyways i'm glad that we took that time on thursday then on friday we were back to mostly a normal day i did still make space for my students who had um, any other thoughts or feelings that they wanted to bring up but we did do mostly like curriculum stuff on friday so anyways i am really glad that i took that time and like i said if you haven't taken that time yet i really recommend doing so but overall it was a really good week it was a hard week back just with like trying to get into a sleeping schedule again i was so tired this week like every day when i woke up i'm typically a morning person well i am a morning person and I, usually i wake up and i'm like good to go even if i haven't gotten that much sleep but this week i just was so tired and i took naps after school like almost every single day this week which probably wasn't the best because then i didn't sleep like super great at night but it was rough you guys like i was so tired and when i was editing this video i feel like you can like tell in my voice too like i just sounded super tired all week so anyways yeah i was super tired oh i just realized i never put in my dry shampoo usually i put in my dry shampoo before i do my makeup so it can like soak up the oils this is the one i've been using i found it at tj maxx a while back and it was like a few dollars okay it was like four dollars here's the little tag still and anyways i really like it so let's spray this really quick now it looks like I have a lot of gray hairs, which really isn't that far off, so that's okay. So anyways, overall, it was definitely a hard week between, you know, the horrible things that were happening in the United States, and then on top of that, just being, like, super tired and trying to get back into, like, a groove. But overall, it was still a good week, and it was nice to see my students again. On Monday, it was really sweet because a lot of my students were really excited to see me and told me that they missed me over break. And, and like, as much as I love break and I love relaxing and stuff, like, I really do miss them them too over breaks they're such sweet kids and and this year especially like i said i just have such a compassionate group of students oh i didn't show what i was doing so anyways i really really love them and yeah i think that's just about all i have to say about that typically in the mornings lately i've been listening to audiobooks while i get ready so i've been going through a lot of audiobooks but i realized that my airpods were not charging last night whoops so they're dead so i think this morning i might just like watch a couple of youtube videos while i finish getting ready so i'll just kind of like do a time lapse or like speed it up as i get ready the rest of the way i'm watching megan's video right now this is what i was watching while i was like brushing my teeth this morning so she's too cool for middle school she's like one of my favorite people on youtube i just love her i don't always comment on videos when i watch them in fact i like hardly ever comment because i watch them on my ipad and it's really hard to comment because you have to like you know click the letters from far away so anyways i feel like if i watched on like my phone or my computer more i'd probably leave more comments but just know i'm watching these people so i'm watching megan this morning she's talking about how she modeled for Cosbox, so that's super cool so anyways i'm going to finish getting ready and then we'll talk so here we go
Okay, so I'm basically all the way ready. I did run out of my hairspray the other day though, so I'm just gonna use this like little sample one that I got. Who knows when, not me, but that's what I'm using today. And then I think I do need to go to Ulta today to pick up a couple things, so I'll pick up hairspray as well while I'm out. Also, this is like my current favorite perfume. It smells so good. It's Ellis Myth. And I actually always do like the Sephora sample boxes where you get like a bunch of different ones. So I always have like a bunch of little samples of perfume as well. And then if you do that for Sephora, they give you like a coupon or whatever to redeem it for a full size perfume which is always a good deal because usually the perfume sets are like anywhere between 60 to like 75 ish dollars for the sample set and sometimes the perfumes are like over a hundred dollars so like this perfume i think was like maybe a hundred ish dollars for this size but i only paid like 65 for it because i had the perfume set so always a good deal i really like doing that i'll try to remember to link those below if you're interested in checking it out but i love this perfume it smells so good so i'm gonna put a little bit on so that is all for this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and let me know in a comment below what you'd like to see more of on my channel. I would love to be filming more videos, but honestly, sometimes I just feel stuck and I don't really know like what to film. I feel like just filming at school every day can get kind of monotonous after a while. And so I don't want it to ever feel like it's just like the same thing over and over and over and over. So let me know in a comment. Oh, that was aggressive. So let me know in a comment below what you'd like to see more of. And I would like to try to put more of that on my channel. So thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys. Jack, say bye to everybody. Bye.